But I will admit this. Like we acknowledge that there are definitely there's a, a rise in uh, simstituting out there. You know that you got these you know chicks on on Lonely Fans. I've got to write that down. <laughs> Simstitute. You got these you know these Only Fans chicks who saying that simping is king shit, whatever. And some of these dudes have actually bought into it. In fact, we we have people who watch this show who are convinced that Only Fans is a safer means of interacting with these women. Never mind the fact that you're parting with your money. Well, you know that saying about a fool and their money. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, if you're a dude, you don't know your self-worth. You're raised by a feminist. I was raised by a feminist. And quite literally, I was taught all the stuff that, well, if you can do this, women will really be attracted to you. <laughs> they will like you. I have no. to beat them off with a stick. Beat an emphasis on beat them off. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I get out in the real world, and I just got fucking creamed. That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about, that righteous anger. That, that That's where that red pill rage comes from, because you realize that all the women in your life who told you how to, how to what women yeah. like, how to behave in front of women, they were all lying to you because they didn't want to come off poorly. Or they just said no better. I, I mean, I'll, I don't give, even, I'll give some of these ladies the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Th- there are some women out there who, from day one, they're in it to win it. And God bless you. But most women out there in today's day and age, especially with social media, they're not like that. Nope. And that's why it's too expensive to look now. And and all these women are like, well, I'll just, I'll retire. I'm strong in the pan. I don't need that shit. Now, listen, I've been working for pretty much since I was 13 years old. Start out with a paper route, then I was a bar back, and then I did uh, bus boying and stuff, and then I went in the Army. But, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, literally, I, I don't, I'm at a loss for, I mean, the, 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 I just, I'm trying to, like, give a little justification for how these women think, and it, it's just turning into the Malachi Crunch. They're well, literally destroying their lives. Because like, yeah. I've worked for, you know, I'm, I'm in my 50s. Mm-hmm. And I worked for the military, and I got divorced, lost all my money, was penniless. And then all of my, you know, disposable income was taken for a child support and medical and daycare. I wasn't able to save up for retirement. I'm never going to get a chance to retire, and I'm always going to have to work at something. And you know what? I'm cool. I'm okay with that. All right, because I'm not the type of guy who sits around and doesn't do anything well. I always have to be doing something. I'm the same way. Now, even when I'm at even when I'm at the lair, and you call me, I'm either writing on a book, or I'm playing War of Thunder. Yep. Or I'm at the fucking gym hitting the heavy bag. Occasionally, you'll call me and I'll be out doing a speed walk or something. Look like a total faggot, but <laughs> I'm old and my no, joints are screwed. Banned, banned. banned. So I gotta like <laughs> do the speed walk thing, and people like laugh at me. I'm like, ah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the pride power walk. We yeah. Call well. <laughs> I can't run anymore. Yeah, at least you can't get the pride pox from that. Oh, God, no. Jail. Yeah, don't even get me started <laughs> on that filthy, nasty behavior that's going on there. It is what it is, man. But that's uh, I mean, that, that's what we're seeing out there. And you, you're saying you can't justify you know, the, the thought process of these women. We shouldn't have to, but with social media now, and the internet, it was supposed to open up the world to more information. <clears throat> Instead, yeah. it's become easier and easier for people to shout their t- lived truth into an echo chamber. Yeah. And, and then what they really get angry about when they're confronted, because they emotionalize all their politics. Yep. And they do that so that any dissenting opinion is a personal attack, and they're justified in cutting that person out of their life so they don't have to hear the truth. And then when it finally catches up to them, their anger isn't at men. That's just who they take it out on. It's on reality for not living up to their fantasy. I know. Like, we have uh, basically one and a half generations who are trying to mold the world to fit emotions. Yep. And it's not really working too well, even when you're a Kazakhstani bodybuilder. That guy again? He's back, and he's married no, 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 no. Hang to on, hang another on. doll. Oh, my God. This guy <laughs> is going to get killed. He is in the wrong country to pull He's already shit. getting his ass beat when he goes out to these They're alphabet kill him. parades. They're going to kill him. He's but, in one, he is in one of the stands, and literally they do not get along with individuals of these. Yep. 
special persuasions, let's say. Recently photographed having fun on his honeymoon with his second <laughs> doll bride. Oh, God. Oh, he's posing for pictures. <laughs> God damn. But At this least is, get one with natural hair color. For this that. is the result. Yeah. I'm just saying, like the rise of lonely single men, what have you. This is the kind of crap that we're seeing. Dudes are losing their minds. I and mean, the, he's he's a confused poles and holes. To be yeah, honest. he's got to be. But yeah. you know, in the past six, <laughs> in the in the past six years, this troll with a purpose wants to know if the first doll gets alimony. <laughs> well, the past six years, how many how many times have we been approached to sell sex toys and sex dolls? And every time. No. I will not do that. Yep. I'm like, nope, not doing it. We did a whole video on this last year. This dude is, he's out of his gourd. Yuri he's going to die. Kalachko. He, he needs to get some laser and he's hair a removal. hairy son of a bitch. 37 of Kazakhstan accompanied Luna, his favorite of his two new weird wives, to a luxurious hotel in Bratislava, Slovakia, where they insisted on being treated like any other couple and even had meals together in the open air. I don't want to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I bought her a wig. I'm just like, Toothbrush. What the holy hell? And there's videos of them eating out in, in the restaurant. What the shit? I'm telling you, this is it's got to be a publicity song. Well, if it is, it's working very well, but I don't think that this is the kind of publicity that a bodybuilder in Kazakhstan would really want. That's where I, I don't think it's a publicity stunt. I think this dude is just legit nuts. It could be. Yeah. And look, he's got, she's got like aqua blue He bought hair. her a meal. There's a meal in front of her. Good. At least he's eating it. Oh, is he going to feed her? Okay. That, I would have been like, no. <laughs> I mean, he's he's out of his fucking mind. Yes, he is. He's gonna get fucked up. Oh my! Ah man, Lord! This right, has got to be I'm a joke. With that one here. <laughs> it's got to be a joke, man. I, I just can't believe. Oh shit! Not this one. I was just saying, like we have to show, like, is there a problem with with modern men based on fatherless homes and stuff? And d does this article have somewhat of a point? Yes, and you can't argue with it when you see. Oh, God. All right, let's drink before oh, we on, click on, on. Yeah, okay. Listen, trust me. You're going to have to drink with us, gentlemen. You're going to have to drink just to get this image out of your head. Man, 27, set to marry woman, 74, says that she reminds him of his own grandmother. 47-year age difference. All right. And he's younger than some of her grandkids. All right, let's just get this straight here. <laughs> now, it is, this is like, I mean, that's reprehensible. So please move that, remove that picture. God, God, God. Move that. Uh, oh, it's even worse. Uh, oh, oh, it's even, oh, okay, 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 that one's okay. all right. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, my Lord. Okay. Oh, oh, dear Lord. Now, if the roles Ooh. were reversed, it would be a lot more accepting. Especially if the dude was filthy rich. Well, I mean, we saw this over and over again yep. with Hugh Hefner. Yep. But in reality, if like a dude will hit the wall roughly 45 to 55, somewhere in there. But if he has enough money, he can build a ramp to jump over the wall and escape it for a little while. Yeah. Women, it doesn't really work out that well for him. No. I won't uh, trouble anybody with any more of these pictures, but I... The dude says, thank God I never told her my height. She's very selective and a size queen Ugh. that likes tall men. I'm 5'7". Why, why would you care? Oh She's my got four God. kids, 13 grandchildren, 36 great-grandchildren, and one great-great-grandson and is currently retired. And then all of a sudden, uh. Uh, Chakalaka Ding Dong comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that whole new, that nose piercing <laughs> shit is. It's it's bad stupid. on women. It, it's arguably worse on it's dudes. It's worse on dudes. Because you know what? When you have a bull and you want to lead it around and control it, uh, you put a ring in its fucking nose. I just. Why I, would I, anyone I willingly do put you know show that to the world? Like, oh yeah, just control me. I just don't understand it. Yeah. Hey, look, oh. maybe, maybe it's the real deal. If it is, more power to them. Uh, just, yeah, it's no, very disturbing. I'm I not telling say. anybody how to live. I'm just pointing this out as a, this article might have had somewhat of a point. Uh-huh. 
But oh, that's a good one. We all know that women actually control the dating market between 15 and 35, lock stock and two empty barrels, if you know what I mean. Oh, yes. They do. Well, I would say they start losing their grip. They start 33. to lose their grip, yeah. Well, I would say the average chick controls it until roughly like 33 to 35. Yeah. If they're on the lower end of the spectrum, they can start losing it before 30. Oh, but yeah. every woman starts losing their damn mind if they're still single at 30. That's when they get the baby rabies and oh, they, they think it's nuts. time to settle down. And then they expect you as the nice guy that their mother, you know, claims that, you know, that they wanted this whole time when they were out bagging Chad, Tyrone, Pookie, and Ray Ray. You're going to clean up, you know, the mess. You're going to pick up the pieces. You're going to mop up the clam chowder downstairs. Well, I did actually run into a couple ladies when I was in New York. One was 34. Another redhead, of course. Of course. <laughs> What's wrong with me? But, you know, uh, don't learn from your mistakes, bro. <laughs> well, no, I learned from my mistakes because we started getting the, you know, where is this guy? Where is this guy? What do you think? And I'm like, eh. eh. And then she got really pissed. And I'm like, I'm like, who the <laughs> fuck do you think you're talking to here? <laughs> Red Rhino's in the chat says, I want off this planet. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, who the fuck do you think you're talking to here? All right. I've uh, already been married and divorced. I've seen three fucking wars. Been there, In done between that. wars at a boredom, I fought as a professional fighter, and I fought dangerous fucking people for money. Yep. And uh, uh, I am not going to sign up to get have the government run another fucking dick up my ass Ugh. forget it no wow. no if, if they if they're interested in that they can contact your ex yes yeah. and i'm sure she'd be more than happy to talk to she's them. all about it because she got the johnson and johnson <laughs> that's what we're way beyond johnson <laughs> all the johnsons yeah you say johnson and johnson that implies just two all johnson allegedly that's a very light number <laughs> allegedly all, of course all johnson all the time. Yeah, of course. Same dick time, same dick channel. <laughs> Absolutely correct. <laughs> Ba-boom. Ba-boom. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like to join Pop for support or Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.